What up, Aquarius Capricorn in the house? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, for those of you that want to know why I don't do Pisces readings and Scorpio readings and Aries readings and all of that, um, I basically have stalkers in every single one of those zodiac signs. And I am not going to give them even an ounce of my energy because they are literally that lame. So, <laughs> no offense to my Aries, my Scorpies, uh, my Scorpio, my Pisces peeps that are a part of my channel. You guys just book me for, you know, private readings. Okay? I love y'all. Let's get into this Aquarius Capricorn. <clears throat> So, the what's the tea and the haters are a little bit of drama. And I really don't like drama that much, you guys. But I do think it's important to kind of be aware of your surroundings at all times. Like, to be able to read the room. You feel me? To know what's going on around you. Um, that, you know, spiritually. And to know how to protect yourself and pray for these people. So, that's why I do these every now and then. But... Um, I'm really not liking the dr drama, like it's very dramatized, you know, it's kind of a little over the top, so, um, with the next cusp readings, I'll probably do oracle cards that are more positive, um, just because, I don't know, I, we'll, we'll do some of these every now and then, like the haters exposed and what's the tea, but just, I don't like to just harp on drama, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, there's, I like to grow from it, Okay. Alright, so cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings that appear as what is allowed me. So let's read it. So let's read it now. And yes, she was made. Amen and amen. I hope so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. Okay. So let's get a little bit of tea for my Aquarius Capricorn people. And I know y'all are like, what? You seriously have that many suckers? Oh my gosh, are you so conceited? No, I really wish I did not. Like, I wish my... I, let me not say that, okay. I don't wish that my energy is not the way it is. Because I, I am so blessed and so grateful. And my energy is the way it is because God has ordained it to be this way. And I am thankful and grateful. Um... Do I like all the battles that come with it, considering people trying to come for it? Not so much, but it's just part of, it's part of the package, right? Anything of value, people are going to want, and they got to fight to keep it, right? All right, so let's get some tea for my Aquarius Capricorns. Like... I literally have ex-boyfriends that have used like cycle like like they've they have they have literally sacrificed animals they've used monthly period blood to try and keep me tied to them like it's that gross like that's how psychotic these people are like Really, really, really evil, evil, wicked, wicked, dark. And that's why people are blown away. They're like, how did you know I paid someone to do magic on you? I'm like, because I've had people been doing a magic on me since I was one. Like, hello, I know what is going on in the spirit room. I can feel it. You know, it's kind of like, what do you call those? Not a marine, but like the like special forces, like... The like six degree you know like I'm, I'm i'm not like i'm saying in the spirit realm when you've honed your um talents if you will like these people that are in the military they've honed you know the degrees of their belts or whatever to the point to, to they are literal masters right it's very similar to the same thing with me all glory goes to abba Right? I'm not taking any glory for myself, but I am simply saying that 
you know, people are really, they're sick. They're sick. So you guys have some rejected, broke, <laughs> person that is obsessed with you. Could be an ex. Okay. Could be more than one. You know, could be friends, family, whatever. Let's just get a few because I don't like the drama. I don't like to stay in drama too much. But it's good to know what to pray for and what your surroundings are, right? So you got into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Boss daddy, stable rich, business owner, CEO, big dick energy. What? Oh my gosh, Capricorn Aquarius, Queen Rising, stepping into power, praise, coming up, spotlight, and then giving money. Okay, so you guys may have a literal CEO, like a business owner, okay, that uh, is into you. And if you're like me, you may have more than one right <laughs> uh, but what matters is um, how are they treating you right how are they making you feel and so far it looks like they're really into you you got great vibes positive stepping into power uh, you're coming up you're a queen rising and you guys got a sugar daddy y'all got a sugar daddy okay yeah you got people digging dirt up on you and you guys are literally unfazed because y'all are like please can't touch this you can't touch this yeah one of these um ceos may be a scorpio i'm getting for some of you guys all right so let's get They may um, own their own business with music, right? They may actually have their own record company in the city that you reside in, right? I don't know why I'm getting that, but that's for somebody. Okay. Okay, so. And they may love your voice. <laughs> Okay, and they may let you know that often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Capricorn Aquarius, what is your person thinking about you? We're gonna get the before tarot. So they want to talk. They may have talked in the past because I am seeing this lizard in the sky here in a cloud. Uh, they may have said something in the past that wasn't, um, that you didn't appreciate, maybe. Uh, they want to come forward. Okay, we got the chariot. They want to overcome any challenges. They do see and value your friendship. Um, they may have known you since childhood um, for some of you, or they could have known you in a past life. This is my twin flame card. Um, they also may want to date you because we have the Nine of Cups here. So they may be thinking about coming towards you and saying, you know, that they want to be more than just friends. They actually want to like take you out on a date. Like maybe they don't want this to just be work right or they want more than just to sign a record with you right they want to like <laughs> put a ring on it no I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying but you know what I'm saying <sighs> okay now we're gonna do the 
regular Rider Waite, which is the right now, to clarify some more on their thoughts. They do feel like you know them. Like they feel like you know things about them that you shouldn't know, and they don't understand how you know that, right? Especially dark things. It could be just really intuitive. Yeah, they definitely, you know, enjoy your friendship, love your company, want to see you again. They're thinking about seeing you again. Um, they're spying on you. Um, they may also be jealous that you may have another suitor or more than one. You may have several big dick energy <laughs> CEO boss daddies, um, you know, wanting to take you out, right? Or, um, you know, interested in in you and this may make them very jealous because they love you and uh, they want you to only focus on them okay And this is the after tarot, so we're just going to get a little bit more into their thoughts here. Okay, they may have been really harsh with their words. And, like, whatever they said to you, you walked away. Like, you were just like, oh, no, I think you've got me all the way up up, right? <laughs> and this is a literal dragon that keeps them up at night, haunting them. Okay? Whatever. Their own words. Because swords are thoughts, right? Um, so they're thinking about whatever was said. And Five of Swords is betrayal, right? And they may have said something just literally out of jealousy for your other suitors. You know, they just may have been immature or cocky or hateful, right? And again, we got the moon and the empress at the bottom. So, yeah, they're definitely jealous over your status. Because um, they may be, like I said, a big boss energy, right? But you are an empress. Right? So, I mean, male or female... Divine masculine or divine feminine, um, any empress is going to have more than one suitor. They just are a single one. And if you're going to be, uh, you know, wanting to put a ring on an empress, you better come correct. Because she's going to have plenty that are. 
right? Okay, so let's get into their heart. Yeah, they want to start over. They want a new beginning. Um, they may also feel like a fool in their heart for whatever childish thing that they said that keeps them up at night. Um, they know that uh, you're worth and value. Okay, because we have the Queen of Pentacles here. They also like, maybe they didn't know your worth and value because this is the before tarot and it's a snake hand in her, the pinnacle. She's not holding it herself. So it's like maybe they thought that you didn't know your own worth and value. So they thought that they could talk to you however they please. Maybe they talk to other women however they please, right? But they were made fully aware that you know exactly who the hell you are because you shut it down. And they may be rereading your text uh, over and over and over about how you just straight close the door on them for whatever disrespectful comment that they made, maybe. This person is definitely studying something that's being written, right? And they want to work on this. Um, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so let's get into their heart. Um, clarify some more of the full, the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. What else on this? Please. Thank you. Because see, an Empress knows her worth. Like, she doesn't need a companion to tell her her worth. And so what they were doing was checking you with this Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is not an Empress. They are a Queen. Right? So they wanted to see if they could get one over on you like they have other queen of pentacles other queens that didn't know their worth right but you checked them where the where you left them and this made them very defensive but they also faced karma for whatever they said or did to you um immediately god gave them a nice little spanking they know that you are connected to the most high because whatever happened to them was completely out of your hands and they are afraid of you. They actually fear you. Okay. They're, and they're also jealous of your connection to God. Right? They may have thought they had a connection until uh, they came across you. So let's clarify this. Uh, seven of Wands, please. Judgment and the Moon. This is the After Tarot, so this will give us a little bit more. Yeah, they still want to work on this. Even though they're defensive, um, that God, you know, gave them a spank and then they're a little jealous about it, they still see your worth and value. They like that you check them. Maybe um, they're not used to being checked by women. They like that you could check them and that you had the confidence to do it and that you left them right where you checked them. You know what I'm saying? Like you were just like, um, I don't know who you're disrespecting, but it's not me. <laughs> Bye. You know, like that was kind of your response as if, you know, they were going to act like they were the prize or something. You were just like, oh no, honey. Bye. 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 Yeah. Again, the moon clarifying judgment. They are terrified of your connection to God. They know that if they have upset you, you are so connected to God that uh, they're on the wrong side of karma. Right? Yeah, and you left. They also miss you a lot. Right? Because I'm seeing this face and this moon. They're thinking about you at night. Because there's three moons here. So at night they think about you a lot. Yeah, and they're also really jealous of any other suitors that are, are vying for your attention right now that may be coming correct, that may be talking to you with respect. Right? 
All right, let's get their actions. Queen of Cups. They want to say they sorry. They want to say they love you. They want another chance. They want to work on this. They are definitely weighed down by not working on this, okay? And they're also weighed down by their love for you. The fact that you um, checkmated them, this person is not used to that. They're usually right. They're very intelligent. They think that they know God more, right? And for them to get checkmated, set down, and put in their place, um, they realize they have a whole lot more to learn. And um, they actually respect you more. In other words, they liked the spanking. And, um, you know, that's a true son of God. Someone who understands that God is spanking you because he loves you. And you grow, and you change, and you evolve, and you become a better person. Um, although this person does seem to be deceitful. Like, we do have the Seven of Swords here. They haven't actually done anything deceitful yet. This is before. This is him thinking about stealing the swords. But he hasn't stolen them yet. But he's planning. So this person may be um, so jealous of you that they are planning to like check you in some way. So be careful. Let's get some more. It may not be that. We'll, we'll get into it a little bit more. Because they didn't, you know, I said that they respected you, but maybe they're just jealous. Because the Seven of Swords can also be jealousy. So can the moon. All right, clarify the Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, they definitely are upset about you talking to other suitors. They are jealous. They, they're very jealous of that. Okay, they don't like that at all and they may be planning something deceptive they haven't done it yet but they're thinking about it maybe they're planning to come forward to you and love you or whatever and you give them a second chance and then they leave you like you left them so just be aware of that okay because this person is childish i am not seeing a king anywhere i'm seeing a knight i'm seeing a page okay so just be aware of that we are not dealing with a grown person. We are dealing with a teenage, petulant child here. Someone who has a lot of growing up to do emotionally. Right? I mean, I don't care how old you are. You, they can be 45 and act like they're 15. I promise you that. You can take that check to the bank. Depending, depending upon how spoiled they are, yes. Okay? But they can't help it. Like, they still want this new beginning with you. They still are afraid of the karma of doing you wrong. And they can't get you off of their head. And they're in love with you. So, just be aware that this person can be very sneaky in ways that will harm you with their words. Um, to cut, try and like because we also had the five of swords to try and get the last and this also is anger here knight of, knight of wands tower can also mean something phallic right with sex um, so this could that be them being overwhelmed by how much they want <clears throat> to lay it down and it can also mean you know they're deep in thought about how mean they were to you with their words so it's going to be different for everybody, but um, that's what I'm seeing here. Okay, so let's get some hater cards. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I have seven other channels for those of you that don't know. Scope them out. Love you bunches and munches. Stay amazing. Get a dream catcher to hang over your bed. So you've got some people trying to mess with your dreams. If y'all are like me, you don't have to have one. Um, and, you know, if you're for a spirit owl, obviously the more protection the better, right? 
But um, I literally have beings watching over me while I sleep. Like, giant, like, <laughs> nobody's messing with me. You know what I'm saying? In my sleep. Um, so, let's see. What this says, they will play victim once they know they're losing. Okay, so you guys are dealing with some pretty childish people here. Again, they secretly keep tabs on you and your ancestors, angel, uh, they got your back. Okay? So that was similar to the last video I did. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, miss y'all. I'll be back. Mwah, God willing.